All right, folks, a very warm welcome. This is Devang Mehra. I welcome you to this Market Outlook video for the next week, which is essentially the last week of December. And this year, the monthly expiry is falling on 31st, which is coincidentally the last day of the year. So a lot of interesting action is expected. Um, so we'll discuss about a lot of points uh, today, especially how American markets are closed tomorrow. So very interesting movements will be seen in America today. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn out, and uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It always motivates me, encourages me, and I always want to be thankful and grateful to all of you for your support and your blessings. Let's start with the analysis. You know, things that happened today, they were quite expected. And uh, I have two regrets, or I wouldn't put it regrets. I would say there are two things that I went wrong on. But otherwise, everything that we talked about yesterday worked. For example, we were bullish on the market. Yesterday, I asked you all, you can buy December calls. We are already sitting on January and bank nifty calls. Must have given you some good amount of money. I put a detailed performance of all the members on the Instagram. So you can always go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. But otherwise, you know, the markets opened higher. And we discussed yesterday elaborately if the markets are opening near 35,400, which is the daily magnet, 200 EMA, then the, you can try to go short. A lot of you went short in the morning. You got a good momentum. The question was, do you hold that short? I, I purposely put up a message very, very carefully even on the Telegram channel. So if you're not on Telegram, make sure you join this. It's totally free of charge because a lot of live market commentary I am doing every single day guiding you all in the market. So I'll put a link in the description. Let's try to come to 5K by the end of the year. It'll mean a lot to me, guys. So today morning, uh, I, I said this, that people who have gone short, don't be trapped in the middle. If you want to short, either short below 34,800 or at the day high, because only then risk is limited. And I said logic is explained in the videos. And I kept on repeating and repeating that we are in no shorts, we are in no shorts. So I'm going to explain all of these things in detail. Please understand, our plan last evening was that I have always said one thing, have a cutoff point. Below the cutoff point, you can go short. Above the cutoff point, you are buy on dip. Yesterday's cutoff point that we discussed was 34,800. So if the market went below 34,800, only then we had to plan aggressive short. And that never happened today. That is why I put up an update today. Kia, please, if you are in short, exit your shorts. Whoever has hedged their 34,000 calls of Bank Nifty, short ke usko bhi nikal jao. So those things, they, they, that was the mindset that I had what I gave you in the live market. And then as we were planning, market again went up and uh, gave us good money. One trade that I gave you over here was buy a 17,000, I think 100 put or something of 23rd expiry. We bought it around 74. It went till 83, 84 and then immediately went to 63. I said, take the SL. I learned very important things or I, I can tell you one important message that I've learned in my life, in my trading journey since I've been, you know, guiding and mentoring a lot of people, is that you should accept when you go wrong. So if I make a mistake, the earlier you accept it, the better it is. Because the moment you become egoistic about it, the moment you say, yeah, ye to reverse karega, hold karke baito, fikar mat karo. And you know it is wrong and you're just clinging on to hope. Then it has a very big toll on your performance and on how you trade. So today was about discipline. And I'm very happy to see a lot of people, I think most of you guys, when I told you all, SL Lagya is strict, hai, we are in no position. That is when a lot of you guys booked your 10 point SL. So we didn't do any major losses there. I think I did a three, three quantity, three lots, and I made a 15 loss. So no major big deal there. I immediately took a bank nifty call because yahan pe, if you are observing a double bottom yahan pe on the 15 minute chart, ban raha tha. so I made some good money on that intraday position. The mistake I made there this on this put aside was. I knew Amne to decide kiya tha, that market becomes bearish up below 34,800 only. But I, I just tried to take a risk over here because on the charts at that point of time, on the form reading, I was expecting in Nifty the markets to come near 17,000, sorry, 16,988 level. It was 50 point dip, but it took a loss and moved on. That was one thing. We, have, we can't be emotional. Both people have a trade ban kar diya. I, and we then pulled off. And then the second thing which I really, do I regret it, thing was that I, I put up a poll. When do we go short or when do we take a call short to adjust our 34,000 calls? And majority of you said we will go at 531. And I said 531 chaleng hai. Batana, let me know in the, in the comments what was your poll. Because I don't know individual polls. What was your poll today? Was it to go short on 35,400, 35, 531? But I personally, I was thinking a lot of time. I said 35, 531 chalenge. And the market was doing very well. But eventually around 130 or so, some big selling happened. We were just 50 points away from the 531. 
So because of that, I told you all. I think at that point of time, Nifty was around seventeen, one twenty, one twenty-five, which was around twenty-five points away from our uh, selling zone of seventeen, one fifty. But I, I personally couldn't capture it. I'm very happy to see if any one of you captured that. Let me know in the comments. But I'm happy to see. I put up on Instagram. A lot of you guys uh, went short, and I got a message. I two three. कि because you mentioned seventeen three hundred का put लेना है at two twenty to thirty rupees. We got the hint and we took the trade. So uh, that was one very important thing. Why did I say seventeen three hundred? मैंने आज एक specifically लिखा था. Add seventeen three hundred put option in your watch list. It was because if you look at the open interest charts, you can see a good a short straddle is being created at seventeen thousand. That is the exact reason why I said seventeen three hundred because that is the resistance of the market. So ये मैंने आपको live market में update दिया था. At that point of time, it's very difficult to give you every explanation. But now since we're sitting back and enjoying the markets. I hope you got that point now. So, uske baad the market fell down. The question is, do I have regrets? I don't have regrets. Life is too short to have regrets. And uh, uske baad market gira. But I can say one thing. I was so penny wise, pound foolish. I was very penny wise, pound foolish. And Gan also talks about this. Ki yar, ab limit order mat lagao. Ki market yahan aayega, tabhi short karunga. It's a zone. If you come to the zone, have a little bit of a bigger risk and take short. But I was too adamant that no, my level will come. I will short it. Just for five ten rupee, I think I missed the entire trade, which was a very massive. I think from two twenty premium or seventeen three hundred put, it went to two ninety. So I did miss that. Lost some, I think, intrinsic law, unrealized gain of Bank Nifty. But I believe it is fine. I have no problem. At the end of the day, um, you know, learnings. Hai. I just I'm sharing these things with you because they are my learnings. They are the mistakes I've done, and I learn every single day. I always believe. that i have to grow every single day i learn from my mistakes i learn from your mistakes that you guys talk to me about that is how i'll become a stronger person eventually so that was today's market interesting market would be planned it all humne kal bahut discuss kiya tha ki 35 400 35 500 short lena hai and it worked out very well aap part liye nahi liye woh alag baat hai but i'm happy to see eventually it worked out and there is no room for regrets because life is too short for that that was today's market at the end of the day Huge selling was seen in Bank Nifty. अब वो क्या selling था? That is something I'm not able to get because even the FIIs they haven't taken a very big part in today's cash market. So maybe it is just an I would say expiry related event. It is possible. But in the last 20 minutes or so, आप देखोगे last 15 minute candle it fell about 250 points. So यहाँ पे काफी ज़्यादा Bank Nifty में volatility था. But Nifty has stayed comfortable. It has closed around 1770, which is almost around the highs of the day. But Bank Nifty has closed about two uh, fifty points below the highs. So little bit Bank Nifty hasn't uh, impressed me where it has closed, and it hasn't it hasn't doesn't close at the ideal place. But I think Nifty has closed better. So Nifty is still doing fine because I think today the finance sector did very well and, and a couple of other sectors. While HDFC Bank plunged in the end, you had the HDFC which was dominating the day. IT did well. We I already gave you multiple alerts of IT last evening. And I think today you had a 700 point gain on IT also. Sorry, 500 point in the IT was there. So I hope you made money on that also. Yes, our today's day was interesting day, good or full of learnings. Now, what do we do now? The question is, what to do forward? Look, in the evening, in the last part of today, I talked about one thing, which was that if the market closes below 17,000, many clear points were given. I want you all to, you know, just re remember, yeah, usko padte ra karo. सो हमने ओके वी मेड सम गुड मनी निफ्टी आई टी तो हो गया सारा सो टुडे आई जस्ट वांट टू गो टू दैट लास्ट नो बिकॉज आई एम आल्सो फॉरगेटिंग सो व्हाट आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वाज आई थिंक आई टॉक्ड इन द वॉइस नोट आपको याद होगा दैट इफ द मार्केट इज क्लोजिंग बिलो 17000 ओनली देन वी विल कैरी फॉरवर्ड शॉर्ट्स व्हाट आई मीन मेंट बाय दैट इज कि इफ यू आर कैरिंग शॉर्ट्स फ्रॉम द डे हाई ऑफ 17300 का जो पुट लिया था इफ यू क्लोज बिलो 17000 ओनली देन यू विल कैरी फॉरवर्ड शॉर्ट बट अगर नहीं होता इट प्रोबली मीन इट इज जस्ट एन एक्सपायरी प्ले एंड आई केयरफुली सेल्ड आई कंफर्टेबली सेल दैट प्लीज नाउ कट योर शॉर्ट ओवर देयर एंड वी आर नॉट गोइंग इन टू एनी स्पेसिफिक पोजिशन लॉन्ग और शॉर्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीक एक्सपायरी बिकॉज देर इज स्टिल कंफ्यूजन एंड आई आई एम हैप्पी लुकिंग एट द मार्केट राइट नाउ आई डोट नो हाउ मार्केट लोवर टूमोरो बट लुकिंग एट द मार्केट राइट नाउ आई बिलीव आई एम हैप्पी बिकॉज करंटली एस जी एक्स निफ्टी अराउंड सिक्सटी पॉइंट हायर plus the american markets all the european markets are about 11% higher and the american markets if you are observing they are almost closing at the lifetime record high especially s&p 500 so i think i am happy in a way that i i haven't taken shots 
and I've asked you all not to carry short. So, ye to kal hi hum dekhenge. Overall, in America, we have seen very good rebounds in the last three days. You can see the charts, and they have done very, very well. And now, even Dow Jones is trying to close above the recent uh, rally highs. So that is all good thing. So overall, there is some positive sentiment that is coming in because I think there is uh, less worries about Omicron as of now. Today, the Prime Minister on the Prime Minister met. Uh, there was a meeting about Omicron. So I don't know what the minutes are. But I believe it is it is just about the precautions. I think there are about 130 cases in India reported as of today, uh, and uh, in Omicron, which is one one lakh per day in uh, London. Yeah, but there are 130 cases here, uh, and we don't have any deaths, no serious cases till now. I uh, hopefully it, they, they don't happen, and I think the majority of the cases are denominated in Delhi, Maharashtra, and Karnataka. ये तीन स्टेट्स हैं अदरवाइज बाकी स्टेट्स में इट इज कंफर्टेबल टिल नाउ बट कीप ऑन वेयरिंग योर फेस मास्क एंड ऑल एंड बी केयरफुल व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट वाज द मीटिंग हेल्ड टुडे ओवरऑल देयर इज नो इवेंट कोई इवेंट नहीं है इट इज ऑल हाउ विल अमेरिकन मार्केट्स क्लोज फर्स्ट थिंग ऑब्जर्व टुडे इवनिंग इज दैट हाउ विल अमेरिकन मार्केट्स क्लोज आर दे क्लोजिंग वेल बिकॉज़ इफ दे हैव सम प्रॉफिट बुकिंग दैट कैन आल्सो हैव एन बैक इन इंडिया टुमारो बट इफ यू लुक एट द चार्ट्स ऑफ निफ्टी और निफ्टी बैंक अभी बहुत कल का प्लान बहुत सिंपल है Don't be too hard on yourself. Kalka plan kafi simple hai. Jo volatility tha. One thing, if you're observing, open the 15-minute chart. You might be able to see that today the markets have made a very, very tight range. Number one. Number two, if you're observing, even the last one, two days or yeah, last uh, two, three days, agar aap observe karoge, the markets have really been trapped in a small range. That is one point. So there is a lot of volatility compression. बहुत ज़्यादा consolidation हो गया है. so it is likely that in the coming days ek ek storm aa sakta hai when i say storm it can be upper end also or lower end also basically i am seeing a trending market because abhi neither a, neither a guy who is taking put is earning neither a guy who is taking call is earning intraday ki baat karo both are decaying back to their values so that is one point that i want to make if you look at bank nifty i think it's been little bit more active but it's also been very very sideways that is one thing so how do you plan hamara kal ka plan kya tha हमारा कल का प्लान ये था दैट इफ द मार्केट गोज बिलो 34,800 दैट इज व्हेन वी विल टेक एन एग्रेसिव शॉट और वी विल गो शॉट इन द मार्केट दैट इज समथिंग आई वांट यू ऑल टू रिमेंबर आप अगर ऑब्जर्व करोगे द चार्ट्स ऑफ बैंक निफ्टी यू कैन सी वेरी क्लियरली दैट 35,000 जो राउंड नंबर है व्हिच वाज द ब्रेकआउट ऑफ येस्टरडे दैट एंड ये आज रीटेस्ट हो इट्स इट्स गेटिंग रीटेस्टेड अगर ऑब्जर्व करोगे आई एम हाइडिंग ऑल दीस टूल्स आई थिंक आई डोंट नीड ऑल दीस टूल्स नाउ दे आर ऑलरेडी समथिंग व्हिच वी हैव Uh, made money on, so we have to again redefine or how we trade. If you're observing, looking at these charts, you can see that ये आपका एक resistance था, which is now acting as support. Does it become support tomorrow or not? Will totally depend upon where the markets are opening. If for some reason the markets are opening flat and then the markets are breaking thirty four thousand eight hundred, this will give you a very good trade on the downside. And I would believe this there is this gap which is available. And ये level जो यहाँ तक है 500, 600 यहाँ तक है. This level will be achieved. I think these days 400 point, 500 point is a very easy move on Bank Nifty. So if the markets are opening flat, then how can you trade? So I think if it goes below 35 only, that is how you can start to take a trade. You can go short back then, but on a flat opening or a small gap down or a very small gap up. ये opening है. And if it goes down, your first target is 34, 800. अगर ये भी टूट जाता है, then it is 34, 600. otherwise remember my level 34 531 let us not forget one thing are we again becoming bearish kal aapko maine ek video yaad hai maine kya bola tha maine aapko yahi bola tha ki jo market hai agar ek 35 400 pe top banayega yaad rakhna ye point maine kal bahut bahut important points bole the i made it very clear if the market makes a top at 35 400 then some pressure will come pressure kahan tak aayega maine aapko ek fibonacci clearly batai the either till this or till this or till this or till this And our our low level was 571. So that will become the maximum target for tomorrow if the market opens flat and breaks 35,000. And targets will be number one will be 800, and then it will be 571. So two targets will be. If 800 is the market you get, try to book some profits there. If it keeps on breaking, then you will go further down. That is only on a flat opening. Then what we have to observe is that when the market here is low, what does the market do from here? मार्केट रिवर्स करता है दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज इफ द मार्केट हैज गॉन लाइक दिस इट हैज गॉन अप लाइक दिस 
क्या मार्केट अब यहाँ 531 जो हमारा लेवल है 61.8 परसेंट मैक्स रिट्रेसमेंट ऑन दिस फॉल डज इट कम हेयर एंड बाउंस एंड गिव यू डब्ल्यू बिकॉज इफ इट डज दैट और डेड आई से लास्ट इवनिंग फॉर द मार्केट टू बिकम स्टेबल फॉर द मार्केट टू बिकम स्ट्रॉन्ग either it has to stabilize here or it has to give a w to yahi cheez aapne observe karni hai so if anyone has want to take a trade tomorrow as soon as 35k breaks on a flat opening take a small trade 348 first target 35 531 second target and then wahan pe you can again take a long take a risk and again take a long there acha level hai at the same time agar wo level milta hai chart pe you can as i said last evening it's a, again a very good place to top up equity if you missed buying in equity so that is my plan on bank nifty quite quite easy hope you don't get confused secondly what if the market does not open flatish what if like the market is looking at right now if they are closing on the stronger side on sgx nifty what if the market opens thoda upar essentially what if the market is opening above 35 200 तो अगर ऐसा हो जाए सिनारियो देन टूडेज लो विल बिकम एन इंपॉर्टेंट सपोर्ट अगेन सो वी विल एक्स वी विल अज्यूम दैट अ डिप कमिंग इन अराउंड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी अ सपोर्ट so it will be a retest that will become a viable dip at the same time what we can again take a trade aggressively is when this starts to break so when 354 will start to break jo aaj ka high tha why 354 because iske upar hum kabhi close kare nahi hai so around this point of time when the market goes above that then you can take a long so everything depends upon where you open agar gap up opening hoga to if the market dips then more likely than not 35 will become support but on a flat opening then not the case gap up opening breaking of the highs you can take a trade on the upper end so is tarah aap logo ne apna trade manage karna hai on the charts of nifty i think it's the most easy bank nifty little bit thoda sa tricky tha but nifty is quite easy i think anyone in the chat can also tell me right now all the viewers can tell me that markets are in a very tight range aaj ka high kya hai today's high is around 17120 jahan humne miss kiya tha and today's low is coming around 17000 1112 so and ek yahan pe round number hai 17 The same thing we will use. Humne, what did we say today? If the market closes below seventeen thousand, we will carry short. So now use the same analogy. Today's market. If tomorrow is the market is opening, one very important thing. Bank Nifty may you are at thirty five thousand. So if it breaks, you can trade. But in Nifty right now, the range a range is. So if the market opens and stays in the range, don't do anything. Don't try to do over trading. Your job is not to do anything in this range. wait for the range to expand because expansion is likely whether up or down that is on the market let it happen and play the expansion that is your goal so below 17000 below 17010 you can take a short first target will come to this gap filling of 16972 3040 point target and then 950 and ye jo ek zone hai then ye level ek aa jayega so i will say 100 point ka target maximum i will see right now and then we will see how the market progresses but 100 point 50 point you can take these two as as your targets and keep on trailing a stop loss at the same time nifty as you can see on the chart it little bit stable little bit stronger so if nifty opens gap up and break 17120 then you remain long then there is no reason for us to go short so that is as simple as that that's the market outlook for tomorrow and the coming days observe karo overall if you ask from a macro perspective things are looking a little bit positive so even if dips come in due to volatility I don't think we should worry about it right now. Could be just on account of monthly expiry. I would still say any dip that comes into the level, use my Fibonacci. So, I have to bank Nifty with some time and try to buy at those levels: 33 percent, 50 percent, 61 point percent dips. Mahan pe equity ko top up karo. I think it is required, very much required. And uh, hopefully now the markets will look for stability. And going into January, some kind of recovery should be able to be seen in this market. So that is the view uh, going forward. and take part if you are sitting in calls of january don't hesitate to to go short on a different amount uh, if the market goes below 35000 don't be emotionally attached to a trade so these points have to be taken care of if you have any doubt put it in the comments and i will leave a video in some time i'm going for a friends birthday right now so if you have any doubts and if i feel some video is required on that i will put it up around 12 o'clock in the night thank you so much guys cheers have a wonderful night